What's really important is to make the home work for you, not you working for the home. And also when it comes to energy, most of the people have to pump an enormous amount of energy into their home to get consistent temperatures. By understanding the physics and doing the work, then the home works with the climate, not against the climate. Uh, you have airflow working for you, you have the sun working for you, you have mass working for you. So therefore, and the flow of the building, so you can't leave out good design processes because you might have a home that might be very efficient, but it might be clinical. It doesn't feel right. So therefore, when you walk through the home, it has to come together seamlessly, working with the climate and the spaces. So critical, you know, to make sure you consider all of those things. A bit like playing, um, chess in 3D virtual reality um, and you want to win and you win but if you look at the calculations and what goes on behind the scenes to end up with that result it's enormous amount um, but again I'll always say all of that but relationship so sustainability is about relationship with the climate and then relationship with your home and yourself you know considering the climate Otherwise, you're working against it. Why would you work against it? You know, understand it and have it work for you and with you. When I come here and look at how they live and how much they enjoy it, um, that's the thing. Uh, every, every project, no matter how simple, is really special, but in the outcome. And if you do the work, the outcome is assured. They wanted to achieve an energy efficient home that was multi-generational, multifunctional, so it would function under different conditions as the children grew and developed, and also a home that they can age in, so therefore the doors are wider, etc. Um, also what we added to that, which they didn't expect, was low allergen. So it's also a low allergen home, <coughs> and even the wet areas face north, no mould and mildew, they're dry, within 20 minutes of having a shower in midwinter, so um, yeah. And they wanted a home that when you walk through it, it was open, um, not a home that was efficient, but too efficient. And so, as you can see, wherever you stand, you're looking outside. Every tiny part of the home contributes, every window and every door, um, every wall, um, every opening, every piece of glass, and it's a bit like cooking. Basically, uh, you can take ingredients and turn them into something that is extremely satisfying, and you don't need special ingredients, just good basic ingredients. And this home is good basic ingredients, it doesn't have double glazing, it's insulated double brick. And if you get that combination right, you get a very good outcome for a very good cost. Because sustainability is about using the least to get the most, so that we leave um, space for future generations to ha have their needs satisfied. Certainly engaging a company like Solar Dwellings, um, who have lots of experience in the in building sustainable homes, building energy efficient homes, but also act as a, a conduit between homeowner and the builder. Um, and we this is a second home that we've built. First time we built direct with a builder, this time we built with solar dwellings and and, and they acted as um, well they really sanity checked uh, a lot of the things that we wanted. It was a very pleasant build. Um, everyone keeps asking us, oh, how bad was it? Or, um, you know, would you build again? And yeah, we actually really enjoyed the build. The whole process has been um, much of an education for us all. We're really advocates for um, passive solar designed houses. Um, and another thing is we really liked how Griff um, made the plans for our house, how we wanted to live, but then tendered it out to various builders. It gave us a chance to meet them, discuss it with them, so um, it made the whole process a lot more smooth and it just flowed a lot more easily. We found a lot of benefit using, using solar dwellings in, during the build process because Griff would come to the site 
halfway through the build and check that things were being done properly. I remember at one point he, he actually got a jackhammer and drilled into the wall to make sure the insulation was in place properly. So you don't get that when you're building direct with, um, with, a, with a builder. You know, creating a relationship at the front and continuing that relationship through the process and then through the construction process, not just the design process. You know, they learn about our process and learn about how they can have a home like this. Uh, and then we learn on a consistent basis about nuancing our design to get the best out of that design and the process. We initially subdivided the block of land and thought we might sell that block. Being an only child, I kind of thought, oh, what's going to happen in the future? And I kind of thought later down the track, it would be good to have my parents close to where we live. Um, and we flagged the idea to them of moving into a house next door, if we built next door. Um, so initially, when we built it, we thought, oh, we'd go with solar dwellings again, because it was a really good experience with them. Um, but this time with a cheaper builder. And it's, it's been really, really good having them there. I like the consistency of temperature, the, the, the comfort that we have in the home. Um, I like also knowing that for the environment we're, we're contributing in a positive way. I like that it saves money as well. What I think was achieved was the outcome that the clients really wanted and have loved, but also have grown into it. So talking to Serena, she was not a person who was so-called granny and now she's got chickens and is engaged in that whole process. So I think conversion to show people that living like this is normal in an upmarket, um, lovely two-storey home uh, and you can still um, have that green space as well as all the other spaces.